five, one and zero for Vucenic. More finishes as a professional for Paul Hughes, but Vucenic, a, a recorded finisher and amateur as well. Let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will get proceedings underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this contact takes place in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. That is brought to you by Apex Fightway. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten and a half inch tall. Official weight, 144.7 pounds. He is fighting out of Corby in England and brings into the cage a professional record of five wins with one defeat. Introducing Jordan. The epidemic Buchanan! Standing opposite him in the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five foot nine inch tall. Official weight, 145.9 pounds. He's fighting out of Lavi in Ireland and brings into the cage a perfect professional record of six wins. Introducing to you. Paul Hughes! Your referee in charge when the action begins, Mr. Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. And I'd be happy to see all three of them, Dan. <laughs> Jordan Vucenic in the red. Paul Hughes in the blue. And they are talking in the cage. More importantly, they're about to let their fists do the talking. I don't think it's particularly that they dislike each other. They just really want to beat each other. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Isn't this it? is all about plaudits and bragging rights here. And of course, potentially a number one contender fight for the Cage Warriors title. We've got Morgan Charrier, Perry Goodwin headlining the trilogy later tonight. Closing the distance early here. Vichenik turning his man onto the cage right in front of us here at the commentary position. Yeah, right hand sort of uh, high up on the leg here. Could be thinking about switching to a single leg. For a second there, looking to see if he could hook the outside of the leg with his leg. Definitely thinking about the takedown here. Good job by Paul Hughes to shrug him off, get back to striking range. Nice right hook from Vichenik and a flying knee from Hughes. High low attempt there, straight into a clinch position. He's got a pretty nice hold. He can elevate his man if he wants and try and bring it to the ground, but nicely done to stay on his feet by Paul Hughes. You know, sometimes you want to see a quick submission. Sometimes you want to see a big KO, but I think most Cage Warriors fans would be more than happy seeing these two guys duke it out for the full 15 minutes. Yeah, Jordan was almost round the back there and pulled him in a great job of trying to get back so his chest is facing his opponent's chest. A little bit of a guillotine attempt there. A little bit of grabbing onto the fence there. Nice switch and actually taking the back. 99 problems, but a switch ain't one for <laughs> Paul Hughes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay, we're in a half guard position here. Now, this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested to see who's going to win these grappling exchanges. What sort of strategy is Paul Hughes going to go for on the ground? Remember, it was definitely not his choice to go to the ground. But Chenick was the one who was pushing that clinch, was going for the takedown. But a beautiful switch meant that Hughes got on top. He could look to, this is just what I was thinking, looking to disengage, get back to the stand-in. But Chenick tried to use that opportunity to go for a takedown straight into a front headlock position and then ending up inside the closed guard. Nice elbow there from Paul Hughes. Yeah, notice the, the left arm was looking to isolate the right arm, maybe going for a triangle, an attempt to cut the angle for an arm bar there, and unfortunately gives up the guard position entirely. A nice side control for Paul Hughes. You can see this position here, what Paul's doing from this side control, it's a variation of side control where he's using his left leg to try and force his opponent's hips to stay away from him. 
So what that does is it stops you from being able to turn in and regain a guard. This is a very strong position. It means the only place that uh, Jordan can turn if he wants to is away, which gives him the option of taking the back. Now into a more standard side control, a nice underhook on the far side from Jordan. He can use this to try and get back to his knees. He just wants to, yeah, you can see that. He needs to try and raise his right arm up to get back to the knees. Trying to grab onto a leg there and go for a takedown, but very dominant top control here by Paul Hughes. Stretching his man out to try and create space. What you don't want, you don't want your opponent to be too curled up because he'll be able to regain guard. You want to stretch him out so you can really maintain that side control without any defense in the way. A half guard regained by Jordan. And a possible head and arm choke there if Paul Hughes looks for it. There we go. He's thinking about it. Yeah, Hughes was traditionally thought of as something of a pure striker, and, and I think that's kind of been the narrative in, in his previous fights. But after that Aiden Stephen contest, that all changed. You've got to believe that Vucenic was perhaps not expecting three rounds of pure kickboxing here. And he told us this morning that he's got an underrated ground game. People haven't necessarily seen one of it yet, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah, there was a nice elevation from the butterfly guard there. Managed to get back to butterfly guard from half guard. Elevated, but Paul Hughes looking very balanced here. An attempt for a heel hook. Sort of a, a, a very loose heel hook attempt, which does give the option to spin out from here. We could see a attempt for the back, but no. Deciding to instead try and stay on top. This is the position. If you want to ground and pound, it's got to be half guard. A nice deep half guard position from... Vucenic here, if he can stretch out the leg, that leg that he's got that half guard locked off on, if he can stretch him out, then he could have gone for a sweep there, but incredibly effective ground and pound, very strong ground and pound. Big shots to end the round here from Paul Hughes. Wow, a big finish from the man from the Bay County Derry. First blood, Paul Hughes in my book, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. That was a really interesting round. Uh, Vichenik initially going for the takedown. And Paul Hughes just being able to hit a beautiful switch here to the back position, ending up on top, and then was very dominant the entire time. Actually, some really nice work from the back uh, by Jordan Vichenik, but Paul Hughes just looking very composed. Honestly, doing everything right to maintain a dominant position. And yet, right at the end there, unbelievably effective ground and pound. Here's that butterfly guard elevation, but the base of Paul Hughes just a little bit too much to really make anything of it. And here we go. We see that transition. This is the hill hook attempt. Unfortunately, without control of the far side hip, it does allow you to maneuver around to the back. Lucenic and Hughes living up to billing thus far. Yeah, we saw Jordan Vucenic drop from the first round to Steve Aimable and then come back and get the victory. Let's see how this one plays out against Paul Hughes, two of the top featherweight prospects in Europe. Both men vying for a potential shot at the Cage Warriors featherweight title here tonight. Nice kicks from both men to open things up. Jordan told us earlier today, Dan, that where he comes from in Corbury, he's going to be good at one of two things, either fighting or running away, and Vichenik's not the kind of guy to take a backward step. Interesting to see whether Vichenik decides to attempt to take down after uh, ending up getting reversed and then really being punished for it for the rest of the round in that first round. Both men clattering each other with shots there. I believe Vichenik said it was the left hand that he had the issue with, so let's maybe keep an eye on that one as the fight wears on. That was his, his previous fight against Steve Aimable. He could well be fully fit now coming into this contest. Oh, nice right hand by Paul Hughes. Measured that one perfectly. Snapped the head of Eugenic back. Catches his man with a left hook there as well. Oh, and a beautiful right hand for Eugenic there. Trading shots in the center of the cage. 
good head movement there from the Englishman. jab of his own. Hughes dictating where the fight takes place at this moment in time. Danny's taking that sense of the cage and stalking his man. Vucenic happy to sit back and wait for the counter opportunities though. Still training one for one here but a little bit more pop on the shots of Hughes. Yeah incredibly close though. like this, the judges should be looking for those immediately impactful strikes, the big moments as Hughes lands another left. A lot of power behind those strikes from Vichenik, but maybe sacrificing a little bit of accuracy there. I previewed this fight for cagewarriors.com a week or so ago and I talked about the rat a tat tat nature of Eugenic's striking style versus the more measured power shots of Hughes and we're certainly seeing that thus far tonight. So standing head and arm position there for Eugenic. Yeah, yeah, really, really interesting position here. It is actually completely uh, possible to lock off uh, sort of in an RNC grip, locking off on the bicep and actually get a submission from here. Or if you feel like you've got it tight enough, what he could do is jump into a guard position with it locked off. As this is exactly what we're seeing from here. The, the body is exposed. You can weaken your man up by dropping some uh, knees to the body. Body, but if Vichenik feels like oh this is actually glove. tight, he could jump into not quite a guard position. He doesn't want to be directly in front. He wants to be slightly off to the side. That's going to help him possibly get the submission. But if it doesn't work, it could mean that he could take the back off of it. Because this is the thing, when the arm is across the body in this head and arm position, it gives you free access to come round to the back. Paul Hughes wants to get, oh, what a beautiful throw. And nicely defended, wow, incredible composure in those transitions by Paul Hughes, very impressive. Wow, I thought that was unbelievable, almost defying gravity there to stay on his feet. Exactly what we expected for these two prospects. Nice elbow from Vichenik there. Hughes looking to take this top position. Vichenik in on the single leg, wrestling his man back. Yeah, very similar to what we saw in the first round. Vichenik really pushing the uh, takedown narrative, but unbelievable defensive wrestling and reversal from Paul Hughes for a second there getting back to a top position. But Vichenik right now in a very good position, on possibly looking to jump straight to the back. This is the classic position we see a lot more in MMA now, where you thread your one of the legs through as a hook, then onto the far side leg, and then use that to try and take the person's back. Couple of nice shots from Vichenik on the break there. Hughes coming right back at him. Wow. Over so quickly. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be going faster. And time flies when you're having fun, and this is a lot of fun here. Let's take a look at that right hand from Paul Hughes there. Just measured perfectly. Yeah, so this is a super interesting position here. He grabbed his head and arm off of the striking exchange, and he was in this position for a while. I personally would have liked to see him attempt to finish from here. What Paul wanted to do was to try and pull the elbow out, and he sees that timing, goes for the throw, but look how Paul Hughes manages to get back to his feet. So as Paul's trying to pull the elbow out, he sees his moment, he goes for the throw, completely throwing Paul Hughes, but look at this, the bridge, the turn, and turn off of the shoulder straight back onto his knees to stay on his feet again really I think that's the thing I'm most impressed with so far is the defensive wrestling and scrambles of Paul Hughes and again they're staring at each other <laughs> as the round begins oh my goodness can we just find a spare title belt somewhere and rounds four and five of this one as well I was thinking the same thing Level change there. Straight back to trading strike, center of the cage. I don't know about you, but I feel uh, pretty confident that we're uh, Paul Hughes two rounds up here as we go into this final round. 
Yeah, it could well be. He certainly landed the bigger shots of the two. Looking to pounce here. Buchanic, though, giving just as good as he gets. Very interesting. First time we've seen Paul Hughes actually initiate the uh, clinch exchange and going for a takedown here. He did have a lot of success in the first round from the top position. So uh, I wonder if that's the strategy in this third round to take away any ability for uh, Jordan Buchanic to try and, uh, well, you know, to, to do some damage in the striking. If he can take him down again and get to a top position, he could be able to control the fight quite nicely. Paul Hughes looking to turn up the heat now, and he's smiling at Jordan Buchenic. Nice leg kick, but Buchenic counters with a hook, getting those fists going again, getting that rat a tat tat rhythm. Nice right hand from Buchenic there. He's having to readjust the mouthpiece. Yeah, Buchenic definitely looks like he's finding his distance a little bit better in this third and final round. Another shot from Paul Hughes. A front headlock position here. Paul's trying to force his back against the fence. Buchenic looks like he's going to create some distance and continue to try and strike, having a lot more success in the striking than he has in the first couple of rounds. Interesting to see Paul Hughes go for that takedown twice now. Big knees from Buchenic up the left-hand side in that exchange as well. That was a third attempted takedown, but Buchenic does uh, a level change at the same time, and he ends up in the uh, underhook position against the cage. I expect him. I, I, I feel like Vujenic probably feels like he's, he's, he's getting a, a, some good licks in, in the striking. He might look to disengage and continue doing so. You know, so far it's been so difficult for Jordan to actually get a takedown and secure a top position. Both men launching big shots towards their opponents here. Heavy artillery coming out in the third round. Good defensive work from both men, though. Yeah, Vucenic definitely having more success in this last round than he has in the previous two. Another takedown. This time, he runs through and managed to get to top position, but not for long. Vucenic finding his back to the fence, trying to get back to his feet. Paul Hughes starting to come towards the back there. Let's go, let's go. start there after the mouthpiece put back in by referee Rich Mitchell. Vucenic trying to get back to his feet. Paul Hughes dragging him to the ground. An attempt to roll to escape there, but really not particularly well executed. And puts himself in a slightly worse position. He looked pretty good here trying to stand up out of this. A good double underhook control here from Paul Hughes. He has a few options from here. He can look to drop down to the leg. He can look to pull backwards to attempt to take the back. He can try and climb his legs up to get hooks in. Your is very tight. Let's go. Let's go. Willing their man on now. Perhaps aware that he may need a big finish here against Paul Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. doing a good job of getting his back to the fence. That stops Paul Hughes from being able to take the back. He finally finds that distance he wants. But it's Paul Hughes, the aggressor in the striking now. Both men landing in these late exchanges. Vucenic looks for a takedown here. A really nice shot from Vucenic, but a beautiful counter switch again. He's fighting to try and come and get that. Oh, a beautiful twist trying to escape. And now Vucenic on the back, standing. He's going to drop down, I imagine, and try and grab one of the legs, try and finish a takedown, but with 30 seconds left in this fight. I'm not sure if that is going to be enough to secure this for him. High level stuff on display here between Vucenic and Hughes. Again with the switch is Paul Hughes. Vucenic doggedly chasing the takedown. Wow, yeah. this is incredible back and forth stuff there. Yeah, Paul Hughes has had success with that switch multiple times in this fight. He finally gets to the back position, 10 seconds left. Let's see what he does. He tries to put an explanation mark on the end of this fight, and there it goes. Hughes looking for a big combination to end this one. Vucenic firing back with big shots of his own. Oh my goodness, what a fight. That was exactly what we were expecting and what we were hoping from this match. Oh, and appetite and more. You're fucking next. I am the best fellow in this division. Oh, we apologize for the industrial language there, Paul Hughes. Clearly very passionate in the moment. Well, let's take a look at some of his handiwork here. Both guys landing big shots. Hughes, though, 
just landing the slightly heavier ones in these exchanges. Yeah, the big difference in this final round was Paul Hughes shooting these takedowns. Nice kick of the lead leg there for Krychenik, also early in that third and final round. We're going to see one of those takedowns now, a nice level change. A real good attempt. He managed to get his man down away from the fence, but Krychenik doing a great job of getting himself to the fence so he can use that wall to walk himself back up. Another one of the takedowns and one of the many uses of this switch that you get the arm from the in from the far side underneath the leg and it, it gives you a, an anchor point to try and get your body behind he doesn't manage to get it the first time but he hits it again we're about to see here oh i thought we we're about to see there but there we go well everything that was advertised and more this fight certainly delivered what a contest take a bow jordan buchenic take a bow Paul Hughes, the scorecards have been tallied. Let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges score this contest 29-28. Vucenic, 29-28. Hughes, and 29-28 for your winner by way of split decision. In the blue corner, Jordan. The epidemic! It's a split decision, Buchanan. and Jordan Buchanan takes it. What a turn up for the book stand. I mean, look, let, let's face it, it doesn't really matter what our opinion is. We're not sat here judging the fight. We leave it to the professionals.